Hi, I'm Sid Blue and I'm a commercial pilot. Thanks for all the emails. I took your questions to the Women in Aviation International Conference. Check out the answers. First up, what should you do if you want to be a pilot? If you're interested in being a pilot, there are many, many people who are out there to help you. I started flying, like I said, I was 14, 15 when I took my first flight. I didn't have my license, so I had to borrow rides from people to get to meetings. I had to, I was too young to join the 99s, and so I, they dubbed me their mascot. I didn't have the money to buy the books, so I borrowed the books from the library from other people. There's a way to do it, just, and there's people that will help you, so hang in there. Obviously, I think people get inspired uh, to be a part of aviation from a, different, a lot of different aspects. I saw the movie Top Gun, and just seeing the flying really got me excited about the entire idea. And once you kind of get that spark, you can make it happen for yourself if you really want it. There's so many avenues to get into an airplane, start flying. Um, you know, it can be of any age. As long as you have supportive people around you that want to help you make that dream happen, I mean, everybody should should experience flying an airplane at one point in their life and I, I just really encourage it. It has been a tremendous experience for me. I've dreamed about it for years and when I started making it happen, the entire experience was amazing. I have no regrets looking back. Uh, I love flying every day. I think even simple flying, flying around in a Cessna is so awesome and exhilarating. Whatever you decide to do in life, do what you love to do so then that way when you go to work, you don't feel like it's work. And that's probably the most wonderful thing. I think everybody should have that in their life. Go out and check out the airport, talk to the people there, don't be shy, they'll be real encouraging. Ask for a job, ask to volunteer. If you don't have the money for flight time, there's a way to earn it. You know, don't let that stop you. When I was in college, I had finally given up on the idea. I was like, all right, I'll do the desk job, I'll do the desk job. And then one day I was like, no. I want to do search and rescue on helicopters and I did it and it was wonderful outlet was the Coast Guard and it's probably the best service I could possibly imagine to be in. I've always wanted to be a pilot. I'm the, I am the little girl who in kindergarten was doodling jet airplanes on the side of her paper. So it's pretty cool to make, to make your dream come true. Get in there and study and um, network find friends who love to fly and find some mentors. There are people at um, airports that would love to have mentor some kids. Women in aviation can uh, put them in touch with a pilot like myself or somebody in women in aviation to mentor them and to help them to become a pilot and to keep them you know going in the right direction. So I encourage you, if you um, are inspired to be a part of aviation, to you know talk to people, your friends, your family, your guidance counselors, and see what you can do to make that make that happen. Um, and there are people. Everyone in aviation kind of wants to spread the experience and uh, let everyone know know what it's like. So people out there want to help you. So just to go for it. I see a lot of people that are interested in aviation, and honestly, uh, some people have to work harder. Some people, it doesn't just come too naturally. Some people, it comes too naturally. I wish I were one of those people. Uh, I have to study a lot. But honestly, all it takes is, is a passion and a determination. Sheer will and determination will get you where you want to go. Whether or not it comes naturally, whether or not you're mechanical or natural about it, if you work hard and you want to do it, you can do it. What you really have to be is persistent. You have to have the, the ability to just keep going. Everybody has to hit the books, but if you learn fast, you learn slow. The main thing is just, just work on it and get somebody to help you understand the difficult bits. Even the smartest people have trouble with some of the bits. Just, just keep working away and after a while it becomes easy. Go for it. If that's your desire, if you have any inkling even to fly or be in the sky, go full forward with it. Find out everything you can. Research it. Look for places near you. Um, try to look for different schools. Get in touch with them as soon as you can and just start pursuing even things that you can do now. Um, start working on your private certificate as early as 16. Just go for it and start pursuing it. I used to ask myself, I thought of flying and I thought, this is so neat. I wish I could do this. And that's why I'd always go around the house saying, I wish I could do that. That'd be so great. And it was my mom who just looked at me one day and was like, Elizabeth, you can do this. This is something you can do and I just went from there and obviously right now I'm just still working on some of my ratings but I'd say that there is no doubt in my mind anyone can be a pilot if you have that desire and passion and you're driven you can do it. Um, everyone is concerned about math and science and of course that's wonderful to, to aspire to that and feel comfortable with the math and science but it's really having a passion and staying focused and knowing that you'll do whatever it takes 